Hello, my name is Andre O'Brien from Anakali Vision and Design, and this is the Match Move Assistant for Carrera Pro and uh, PFO Pro tutorial. If you are unfamiliar with uh, Carrera, or uh, I'm sorry, if you're unfamiliar with uh, PFO Pro, please visit the www.pfo.com um, website, and it's the, you have a wealth of tutorials on how to use um, PFO. Uh, this tutorial will focus around uh, importing uh, or converting the uh, PFO XML file format, uh, that camera data, into the uh, SINCAR file format for uh, so that we can import um, that data into Carrera to use Carrera as a compositing tool for live action footage and um, CGI elements. As you can see with this video, um, we are inside Carrera and um, our tutorial is going to show us how to import this box into our scene so that we can have um, the um, composite that you see before you. So let's begin by closing this out. Let's close out the scene. Let's create a new scene. It's going to be waiting for us when we're ready. Uh, let's go to PFO. I've already gone through um, the liberty of tracking the shot. Um, You'll note that there, this shot is unletterboxed. That's because this video is not the original video. I can't find the original video, but this is one of the export tests that I did. And it is the same number of frames, the same, it's virtually the same shot, except this is letterboxed. You'll see that the tracks are not quite matched to the, um, to the different um, elements in the scene. Um, but rest assured that this is pretty much the same shot that I used. Um, for like I said, for tutorials on um, PFO, please go to www.pfo.com. There are a wealth of tutorials on how to use uh, PFO. Okay, we are going to export our track information in the XML file format. Make sure that you select XML first before you uh, type in the scale factor. We're going to need we want to use a scale factor of 100. Um, anywhere between 100 and 500 is going to be pretty good for Carrera, but for this tutorial, we're just going to use 100. Click OK. We can minimize that and we're going to maximize let's delete that we're going to maximize uh the match move system for career uh, uh mini application as you can see we have our train two underscore avi uh, xml file um and we are going to um start match move assistant let's click on the icon and a terminal display is going to uh, a terminal interface is going to display um, with uh, information about the plug about the application and information about who this application is licensed to okay we're going to press enter and here we're going to enter in the name of the XML file we just exported from uh, match from um, uh, PFO pro so in this case it's train oops, it's train to underscore okay if we put in the wrong name we hit enter it's going to say invalid file it's going to ask you to put in the, the correct name you go to train to underscore AVI. Um, you're going to make sure that your XML file is in the main folder for the Match Move Assistant um, um, application. The application is not going to install on your system. It's going to be ready uh, right out of the zip file. Okay. You hit enter once you have the name. You don't have to add the extension. Um, the application is going to add the extension for you. Hit enter. And just like that, the SINCAR file will be created train to underscore AVI in which case we're done with match move assistant hit enter open up Carrera and we're going to go file and import that data you see all the trackers in the scene uh, the first thing we want to do is is insert a cube into the scene we're going to go to motion and reduce the so file size of that um, now we can go and and we're going to use this camera camera one to orient this this uh, cube in the scene by orienting the cube in the scene, I mean we're going to match the loc the uh, translation of this figure, of this um, prop or object. I'm so used to using Poser um, to one of the tracks in the scene. In this case, we're going to use this particular track right here. Um, now we want to back this camera out of the scene and left corner. Click on camera zero one, and there we have it. If we click play, we see that the camera should be moving exactly as it does in uh, PF Hall. Now we need to add the video to the background. We go to scene and go to backdrop. 
go to map and we're going to find the video that we use we use train and now go to render output make sure that our pixel aspect